Hello everyone. In some previous videos we talked about getting started with the Snickerdoodle and then setting up the Wi-Fi and connecting to it remotely via SSH. In this video we're going to, uh, through SSH, create our first C program and we're going to compile that program and we're going to run that program. And it's not going to do anything special but it is going to confirm that our GNU compiler is not installed and working properly and that we can uh, run the programs. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, here we are in Territory. We're going to go ahead and create a new connection uh, using SSH. Now, you notice that since my last video, my IP address uh, changed just because I'm actually I'm using a different Snickerdoodle. And, uh, and if you disconnect and reconnect, your IP address might change. So uh, if you have problems connecting, uh, you'll want to plug in directly and then uh, run uh, ifconfig wlan0, and uh, that will give you your IP address, and, uh, and you just double check that it's correct. And remember the default username and password is snickerdoodle snickerdoodle. There, we're all logged in. So let's just see what we got here. We have a workspace, so I'm going to change to that folder. And there's nothing there. I'm going to make a directory there. And I'm going to call it uh, C programs. And there it is. All right, and now I'm going to use a program called Nano uh, to create a C source file. So I'm going to go Nano, and I'm going to call this uh, Hello, capital Snickerdoodle. C. Okay, now I'm actually in the nano application when in the new uh, file that we just created. It's called hello snickerdoodle.c. And you can see up here it gives you the file name. And before you do anything, take a look at these commands uh, down here because uh, once we start typing, these might go away. Um, the main thing we want to look at here is how to exit here. Uh, so this caret sign means control. So we'd hit control X to exit and then it'll ask us if we want to save and everything. So uh, take a look at those commands. Um, okay, so we're going to start by including uh, the sddio.h and what that's going to do is going to give us access to the printf function so that we can print to the screen. And we create our main function. And I use nano for this because it gives, does give you a little bit of uh, uh, context coloring of the text. Uh, there's other text editors that you can use, but uh, this is this is a, a simple one and gives you a little bit of a, just a few basic features there. Uh, so we're going to do print f and uh, let's say return and new line, and then I'm going to go hello. Snickerdoodle. And we'll do another return our new line. And we need to return something here, so we return zero. That's it. So that's a very simple program. Uh, it's not like I said. This is just your your basic hello, hello world application, and it's just going to uh, tell us that everything's working with the compiler. So you notice how I hit Control uh, Control X there, and then it's asking asking me if I want to save this. Uh, so in I just enter in Y for yes, and then I'll say file name, and this will give us an opportunity to change the file name if we want to. But this one's just fine. Hit enter. And there we go. Now, if we hit ls here, now we have the hello snickerdoodle.c. Uh, to co uh, compile this, we want to go gcc, then the uh, name of the file that we just created. And then we hit dash o, and then the name, name of the executable, and we'll just give it the same name. And that's it. 
Okay, Ellis again. You know, we have a Hello Snickerdoodle there in green, and that is an application to run that. We simply do this. Whoops. <laughs> Actually, you do have to use the same name. <laughs> and does have to be spelled correctly. There we go. Uh, so we have now uh, created our first C program. We've compiled that program and we've run that program. And like I said, it doesn't do anything special other than it confirms that our GNU compiler is installed and it's working properly. Uh, so that's about it for this video. Uh, please check out the rest of our channel. Uh, please subscribe and support the channel if you can. Thanks a lot and we'll talk again soon.